So, good news. I got distracted. And Bay came into my life and blessed me with uh, awesome Coachella loveliness. And we also got the release of the Guild Hunter series, so... Yay! Book review recap by Mr. Freed's Guild Hunter series by Nalini Singh. With the release of our upcoming of new book in October, I wanted to take some time and look back at the Guild Hunter series and the feelings it evoked. I did a little trailer, so stay tuned. I want you to keep watching until the end. And I want to thank you so much. If you are a person who has not read the series yet, and you're wondering, should I read this series? Absolutely. Right now, buy it, start reading it. The audiobooks are awesome. The regular paperback is awesome. I wish they would make a light novel of this so I can look at some illustrations that would be even more awesome. Just... Fangirl orgasm. <sighs> Sorry. Heaven. Fangasm. Every second all over the world, guild hunters fight for coexistence in a world where vampires and angels could easily wipe out humankind. Instead of that sounding like some post-apocalyptic script for a dystopian paradise YA book, we instead get this really great piece of urban fantasy where humans, vampires, and angels exist and interact in a somewhat normal, somewhat extreme way. And you get these moments that are just huge and beautiful in this real urban setting. And the city feels like New York City. It feels real and alive. Like we just miss the vampires and angels. Of course, the real. And I love that about this series. And yes, if... New York really had an angel who ran the whole thing, like some mega billionaire who is super hot. Yeah. That would be really interesting. Um, scary, but very interesting. I think what I like most about it is that although the humans and the guilt hunters are fighting for every little scrap of this world, they don't back down. Ever. They never back down. And you constantly get this feeling like, yes, guild hunters. Every single character. I don't think I have a character in this series that I don't love and want to hear about and get updates about every book that I read. So I am enamored with this series. And one of the things that makes it the most New York of the New Yorkiness that it is, is that it's a beautiful multicultural city and it's reflected throughout the book and the series that this is a fight between angels who ruled various parts of the world and they reflect the worlds that they live in. That is just beautiful. There may be fighting and dying and war but in this world, there is love, and that is really nice to see. This project is probably one of my favorite projects. It took a really long time to do, um, longer than my normal videos, so I hope you do enjoy it. 
I had a couple of things that were nagging at me. Namely, I didn't really get that deep into the romance. The romance was really, really good. It's a paranormal romance, more than urban fantasy, but it's really riding that line hard. So you're going to be satisfied either on either side of the table. Um, and I think that it's just a great story and a very talented author. And I enjoy seeing what she comes up with. She has another series called the Psy series. Um... And that's also a really, really good series. Although I do wish she would have done this strategy of sticking with the main couples and going back to the same couple. Because it made it easier for me to follow. And I really don't always like in the Psy series, the couples. Because you're constantly having to re-like the couple. And sometimes you just don't. I would also like to talk about the um, very, 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 very interesting world and how it never really stops growing. And I enjoy that as we learn about each angel's and each angel's territory, the world just, just keeps spinning out. I would love to see, as I said in the last part, more of the guild hunters and it doesn't have to be a world ending event. I don't need that. And I'm glad when she takes the time to not have world ending events. I would love to see more of the guild hunters and what guild hunter life is like. And the fact that she has a younger sister, there is something to really explore there. And I'd love to see what it's like on the ground. I want to thank you one more time and remember to hit the scrub subscribe button if you haven't already. And this channel is called Mistress of Reads. My name is Miss OP and this channel is about books, romance, sci-fi, urban fantasy, movies, anime, manga, and comics with a touch of a little, little bit of nostalgia on the stank side. And thank you so much. See you next read. To take my favorite line today. Now, Thank you for listening.